round and uh, just finished up my who's account minus 27 so happy with that 
All right, let's see who's in here tonight. Uh, going up to the top. Steve Ote, what's up, man? Nick, John, Pete, Robert. I don't know. It's going to be kind of odd. It's going to be kind of weird when you are uh, making adjustments and stuff like that. I don't know how that's going to work. But it's the same thing as the gridiron ball. So if you had a bunch of gridiron balls, there's really no reason to buy this ball unless you are a collector. And then look at that. Their season 8 ball, they made it a sleeved kingmaker. All of that bling for a kingmaker. Come on now. Y'all just add a, you know an extra stat like somewhere, you know, just to make it a little bit different. But oh well. You get two for one. So this if you have like a a newer account. Uh, this is definitely a good package to go after. You get some power five balls and then also some kingmakers. So if you're someone that maybe is just starting the game and you don't have any kingmakers, it may be a good chance to, to pick you up some here. Well, hole number one, we go with the APOC and a regular kingmaker. So we'll check the uh, chat one more time before we get started. What's up, Mike Mundell? How's it going? How's it going? Welcome, welcome. And let's see. Oh, no problem, Brian, man. Definitely understand. You know, life is first, and then the game. Definitely understand. What's going on, Bridger? How's it going? Thank you, sir. Uh, or, is it sir or ma'am? Bridger. Um, minus 27, minus 28 would be awesome. I would definitely be very happy with minus 27, minus 28, for sure. The needle speed is nice on the egg. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate it. It weebles and wobbles, but it doesn't fall down the hole. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> All right, let's get going. 18 holes we have to play here tonight. Hole number one. Hole number one. Now, last, uh, well, Wednesday night, we didn't overpower our shot enough, and we ended up in the bunker. So tonight, we are not going to make the same mistake. Brian, because I like beer, I definitely can, uh, I can agree with you on that one for sure. I like beer too. All right. So full right, I'm going with, uh, 3.5 back, and I want to land it somewhere about right in there. Okay. That's five, six, and eight. Hopefully that'll be okay. I didn't feel like I needed to like terribly overpower the shot. And that'll work. That'll work. 
So definitely a good safe drive right there. You've got the extra mile five, uh, not the extra mile, the, uh, the APOC five, the APOC six. It's a very safe drive to make right there. Could go a little bit more backspin on the shot uh, and try to give myself a little bit better of an opportunity for the ace, but you know, I don't know. I feel like this has become a hole where you just want to make sure you get that eagle and then run. <laughs> um, you overpower it too much, depending on the wind angle change, you can end up in the bunker. So we definitely don't want that to happen. Hey Derek, what's up brother? Mr. Cool Breeze is in the house. Uh, cool Breeze, aka Derek. Uh, him and I were able to uh, to meet up today and uh, drink a few beers together. Have a good, just have a good uh, fellowship at the local B-dubs. <laughs> that was fun. Definitely appreciate him taking some time out of his uh, his visit here with his dad to come and uh, hang out with me. That was cool. See, just like my opponent, that's what I was trying to uh, avoid. And uh, he also brought his uh, brother-in-law, Jason, Jason Hathaway, who is also a member of the 19th hole. So I got to hang out with two 19th hole members tonight. That was cool. Thank you, Jana. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Mike Tibkey, what's up? What's up? Thank you, Mark Lapla. Abdullah, how's it going? Welcome. Walter Dominguez, how's it going? Welcome. How's it going, Skitty? Alan Stone, what's going on, buddy? Thank you, Brian. I appreciate it. <laughs> too much cowbell. No, there's never too much cowbell unless you're the uh, the opposing team's fan. Oh, look at that shot. Get in there for the eagle. Nice save. Well done. And uh, I will post a picture um, of uh, Mr. Cool Breeze and myself here on the site here after the round is over. We did get a picture together. And uh, maybe next time... He is able to visit. Uh, maybe him and I will be able to plan like a, a round of golf or something like that at one of the local clubs and do some video or something. That would be fun. So I am not going to be playing shootouts um, unless they're like, I didn't look at that one, but unless they're like almost like tournament wind. I am trying to get through this quickly enough. I think there are, um, James said something about trying to stream some after this. All right, so hole two is the extra mile, I mean the APOC and the sniper, and I'm gonna use the uh, firework ball for the shot. Sorry, Jan, I wasn't looking up. Try it again. Hey Michael, how's it going? Clifton Brown, how's it going? Golf Clash One, how's it going? <clears throat> Michael Star, how's it going? Try to uh, try to type in the chat again, Jana. See, I see you just uh, said got it. So, all right. So we're gonna go ahead and get started here for uh, hole number two, trying to get ourselves in um, albatross range for this hole. Hopefully, we can achieve it. So, power four ball. You can go with the power three balls, okay. But if you got power four balls to use, you might as well uh, you might as well make use of them. 
How do I feel about the fair play news? Brian says, how do I feel about the fair play news? Hey, I can't, uh, I can't fault the company for trying to, to make things better. I, I do want to see them push a little bit harder on getting the real cheaters out of the game. Uh, the people who are really cheating and, and causing uh, good players to leave the game. I, w I would really like to see that. Uh, so it's cool that they're trying to uh, do this fair play thing. But a true fair play would mean they do something about the cheaters. So. <clears throat> All right, we got Sergio here. Going first. Mr. Freeze, what's up, Charles? Good to see you in here, my friend. Hopefully been, you've been uh, doing well. Always good to see Charles in here. Austin Silva. How's it going, dude? Awesome, yeah. Cool, Austin, I did not know that was your uncle. Very cool. Sounds like a lot of people in your in y'all's family play the game. <laughs> What's up, Zam? How's it going? All right, let's see what we got here. Now, I just picked the ball out. Now, it's going to make me reselect it and <sighs> eat up my time. And that should be okay, right there. Used enough curl to uh, pretty much great proof that shot. As long as I miss it that way, it should be okay. So that is plenty far enough up there uh, to be in position for a chance for the, uh, the albatross. See money in the house, RJTV in the house. What's up brother, thank you very much for stopping by. I was uh, bowling this evening with the family out at the base, so I wasn't able to uh, to drop in on your stream, brother. Sorry about that. Hey, Anna, what's going on, girl? Welcome, welcome. Oh, wow, bouncy, bouncy. Come on, roll for him. All right, let's see if we can get this albatross to drop here. It would be a nice way to start the stream. All right, 9.9. .9. Oh, that's the wrong club. No, that's the right club. Wow. It's going to be tough to get this albatross to drop because... Uh... No, I don't want to play the rough bump. I actually hit that drive way too far. We're gonna try this. This is uh, might be dangerous. Oh well. Oh well. Oh, that sucked. <laughs> At least I got out to the fairway. Wow, I hit that drive too far. And uh, we completely took ourselves out of the sniper range. I messed up. Should have had the, the B-52 in my bag. Or the Goliath and not the Saturn. So that's definitely uh, a mistake on my end. And uh, it's not very often that you find yourself out of the sniper range for that shot. But when you do, you really should have the B-52 in your bag. Which is uh, was a boo-boo on my end. It was definitely a boo-boo on my end. But we'll still get the, uh, we should hopefully still get the eagle. Appreciate it, Austin. Wasn't too good on that shot, though. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do here. Uh, let's see if we can salvage this. 8.2.
straighten it out. A little top spin. Into the hole like that. And two rings. Then we'll go back and look at this. All right, that's still good. I hit it perfect. And we still salvage the eagle, thankfully. New member, Michael Bolton Sr. I'm confused. Michael, weren't you already a member, brother? Oh, never mind. You were just re-upping your membership. Thank you very much, sir. You had me, like, so totally confused right there. <laughs> there he is. Michael Bolton re-upping his membership. Thank you very much, sir. Give you a weedy boom for that. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And to all of the members that uh, have their their payment set to automatically pay in every month, uh, I definitely appreciate you all as well, and and uh, thank you all for each of your months of uh, of membership. So for all of those that are in here that uh, have re-upped their month, a wheelie boom for you all. Oh, that's not a wheelie boom. My bad. There's a wheelie boom. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. <laughs> you were, at, yeah, maybe it's the, the firework ball, but I've been using power four balls um, the whole week with this account. Maybe it's just because it's the Apoc 6 got a little bit extra, but definitely uh, I will have the Goliath with me next time I play that hole for sure. On the back nine, no doubt. All right, next hole, Sniper. And the Kingmaker Ball. Kingmaker Ball. And we play a one-to-one -one adjustment here, so we don't have to worry about the uh, the ball guide. Todd asks, RJ, are you drinking? I don't think RJ drinks. I think RJ drinks Diet, diet Coke. <laughs> Uh-oh, was it... Uh, it was a rough one, huh, RJ? Well, sorry to hear that, brother. Thank you, Dan. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. You're a fan of this wheelie boom. <laughs> the wheelie boom only comes out in special occasions. Holes in ones, albatrosses, and new sponsors. All right, so we're going uh, four down, four right here. We're playing our ball guide about uh, middle of the second right light square. And now we're gonna have to adjust uh, nine rings. That was just a tiny bit under nine. We did it perfect, so let's see how this one comes in. It should be pretty close to the cup. I've been all over this cup recently. Oh, so freaking close that one is. <sighs> All right, so maybe the the right edge, the, the right, the left edge of that second light green square is what we're going to try on the back nine. That was more towards the middle right there. And uh, we're going to try the, uh, the left edge of that second light green square next time. Tater Tot, what's up, brother? <laughs> Drink one for... I don't have any beer tonight. All I have is... Uh, all I got is some Coca-Cola. It's my refill from the bowling alley. <laughs> Hello from Tucson. How's it going, Daniel? Greg Wiseman, what's up, brother? Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Uh, Todd Fredericks, that is uh, that is not. Uh, I don't have a handicap, um, but uh, that is a special GIF that was made uh, for me uh, by one of our members and uh, a member of the Blue Can Crew. So I definitely thank her for making that for me. That's Miss Alex Wheels. So if y'all ever see Alex in the stream, she's usually in here at some point. 
She is the one that uh, created that for me. Randy Stibb throwing up the blue cans. Ryan Daigle saying good luck. That's right. Charles is going to have that uh, purple Master Shield next month. Awesome. Thank you, Charles. I appreciate it, brother. Thank you for the support. Man, Charles has always been a supportive person. He has uh, supported me from day one. <clears throat> All right. And that's quite an interesting name right there. And Shake and Bake. <laughs> that's good. That's pretty good. Thank you, Clint. As always, you always play your rounds uh, fairly late. <laughs> Definitely expected. I missed I missed you being around saying, all right, you got to go play my round. And uh, Greg Wiseman, $10 donation. And that was done uh, through the uh, Streamlabs. Let's go straight into the PayPal. It says, go buy me some beer. All right, so I will get that done tomorrow. Greg, and I will have that beer on Sunday night when I stream, sir. Thank you very much. Give you, uh, give you a little bit of Trump fire right here. Boom. And this is what we're going to be doing with the beer right here. <laughs> All right, hole four. Let's see. Um, we need to set up our shot here for this one. Max Ford, how's it going? Monty, how's it going? My handicap in golf. Okay, my bad. I just assumed you were asking because of the uh, the GIF that I used. But um, my handicap in golf would probably be about... I would say about a 15. I usually shoot in about the mid 50, uh, 80, 80s um, when I play. Somewhere between about 85 to 90 is where I shoot. So it's so about 15 to... Uh, to 18 is somewhere in there when I used to golf a lot uh, it was probably closer to about 11 or 12 but uh, I don't get out to golf as much anymore hey Alex what's going on girl you must you must have heard the wheelie boom was being played we had a, a new member join thank you Troy I appreciate it Thank you, thank you. And I thought I saw someone say my name and I missed them. Where, where'd they go? It scrolled up. Someone said, hi, J-Bone. I missed the chicken message. Uh-oh. All right, let me scroll back up, James. I'm looking for, your, for you here. Be on the lookout for a non-squeaky package on Monday. I got you, brother. I will be on the lookout for that non-squeaky package on Monday. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> A little bird told you. Okay, awesome. Yeah, old, old, an, an old member renewed thanks to his bank account. Alright, so for this hole right here, Apocalypse, Saturn, Thorn, and playing with the Kingmaker ball here. And here we go, hole four. Frank Grimes. I just love to say that name. I always love it when I see you come into the stream. But uh, what's up, dude? Slick Shot Steve. What's going on, brother? Welcome, welcome. If you came into the stream and you said, hey, and I did not respond, I apologize. I'm a terrible person. <laughs> uh, but I must have missed your message, and I definitely uh, apologize. But definitely, what up? You ever trying to get a hold of me? If you do like uh, Alex Wheels did and you uh, highlight my name, at Jesse Both, uh, that's a good way for me to catch your message for sure. And also, if you put a ton of emojis, that's another great way for me to uh, not miss your message. All right, 10%, 8.1, 
and I do not have a power four ball in. So full right, four top. I like my ball guide to go just left of that uh, that rough spot there, rough patch, and 6.4 rings. So that's five and 6.4 is right there. We're gonna go a little bit over power here, and then about half a ball right curl. And hopefully that's gonna be good. Enough to uh, get us set up for a chance with our uh, our thorn. All right, so we've got a max thorn here, so we're going for the backspin shot. We play a minus 10%. I would not recommend having a hornet for this shot. Uh, you definitely want uh, you definitely want that short iron with backspin. That's a very tough shot to make right there, and I would not recommend taking a shot off the uh, that fringe right there. That's dangerous, very dangerous. Ben Kune, Emily, how's it going? <laughs> he should have done a lot more than slap him with the chopsticks, Fun and James, from what I heard. I heard he needed a beat down, is what I heard. Alright, so we got. What's up, Kevin? 7.1. That's min. Max, mid, it's about 75%. Full backspin. Got that one off. Boom! That one's worth a wheelie boom with 0.2 seconds left on the shot clock. There we go. That was a special shot. That's what I'm talking about. Right thar. Right thar. Booyah. Booyah. Ooh, I took such a risk letting that needle stick that one extra time, but I, I got something like my eye closed right there in the last second, and if I would have tried to release, there's no way I was going to hit a perfect. I mean, have y'all ever done that where like you're ready to release, and then all of a sudden you get that tick in your eye, and it's like, crap, I got to let that go one more time. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Light up that chat. Light up that chat. The claw, the claw would definitely be a good club to use there uh, because of the full backspin, for sure. No doubt. Claw's got pretty good backspin, actually. Let's go look at it. <clears throat> but the, uh, the thorn has better backspin, and it has... The 4.2 ball guide. That's like, I think that's the uh, the biggest thing about the thorn compared to the claw is that ball guide. And on that shot right there, you really want that ball guide. I promise you, you want that ball guide. Um, the level 7 thorn doesn't have that same ball guide and it's a much tougher shot. So that's the reason why I would go thorn over the claw. 100%, that's easy. The ball guide. All right. Next hole is five, and this is the okay. This is the hole that Playdemic couldn't make up their mind on what they wanted to use last week. That's right. Now I remember. We'll go with a Titan ball here, <clears throat> and I like to go. I like to go with the Guardian here on this shot. Some of y'all may like the Sniper. Uh, some of y'all may go with the Big Dog or the uh, the Cataclysm just to be safe. 
I like the Guardian. I don't know. I just like the Guardian on this shot. Double Eagles, double Weedy Boom. Right, Alex? <laughs> Michael Bolton says inbox. All right. Let me check my phone, brother. <laughs> this is uh, Michael posted a, a picture of. I don't know if y'all will be able to see it. Uh, it's not going to show it too well, I don't think. That's a picture of me and uh, the golfer that everybody says I look like. And yeah, I could definitely see that. We both kind of have that uh, that narrowing jawline. That's definitely a pretty good uh, uh, comparison right there between those two pictures. <laughs> awesome. That's pretty cool, Michael. All right. He ain't making no shots like that, though. He ain't making no shots like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're ready. Let's go. Let's go. <clears throat> Hole five. A 10% and power three ball. We're playing the Titan ball, though, for a little bit extra wind push. Melissa, what's going on, girl? Randolph School of Music, a.k.a. Kevin. If y'all are looking for some lower tour tutorials, uh, Kevin is doing some, like, tours three through six videos, I believe, and uh, if you right-click on his name, you can go to his channel and check them out. If you like them, subscribe to him. If you don't like them, you know, leave him a message and, and give him some, uh, some comments on what you think he could do better to improve them. I haven't watched them yet, but... Uh, Definitely don't mind helping a brother out, and uh, just go at least uh, go check him out and give him a chance. I'd appreciate that. All right, Charles, brother, thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a, a good evening. Get you some sleep. The early morning comes quickly. <laughs> All right, Broski, have a good one. Justin J Justin Johnson, yeah, Justin Johnson's his name. I think it was Jared. Jared was the first person that uh, that said I had a resemblance to him, and that was quite a long while ago. So full top spin. We're gonna go with two right spin here, and uh, we're looking 8.2 rings. So we're looking three more rings off our white, the edge of our white here. So that's about right there. And that should be good. See where we end up. We're tugging the right side. But that's going to roll. Oh, that's going to roll very nicely. Stop, stop, stop. Ooh, we need to go a little bit more. Uh, we need a little bit more right spin or right curl on that shot. That's way too close to that rough right there for me. Mr. Freeze, $49.99. Good luck, bro. Put this towards something you need, dude. You the bomb, man. Thank you very much, sir. Y'all give Charles some love on his way out the door. Man's got to wake up early and go to work. Give him a little Trump dance right there. And a little Chuck Norris, yes. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Uh, Frank Grimy Grimes, that would be uh, Kevin... Uh, Randolph School of, of Music and Gaming. <laughs> All right, so we got 10.1 wind here. Man, we're going to be able to land this one pretty far up there. Perfect. 
Let's see if we can get this shot off the back ridge here. Oh man, it's gonna get stuck up there. Just a little bit, a little bit weak on the backspin right there. I have to go back and watch that one and see how much backspin I uh, I use. I don't think I used enough. That's really the first time that I've been in position to even try that shot. Uh, normally, I'm having to you know rely on a little bit more uh, uh, spin to get that ball to the right side. So that was really the first time I had a chance to even try that shot. And uh, I definitely uh, realize now that it needs more um, backspin. And probably, a, well, I don't know that it needed any more curl than that. I just think it needed a little bit more backspin to grip uh, on that uh, fairway landing zone a little bit better. And to give it a chance to roll back down that hill. But um, it, shouldn't be a bad, uh, it shouldn't be a bad chip for the, uh, for the eagle. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we got here. I don't like this. Uh, I definitely don't like this. The season's coming, go like thoughts of you. So two point one, which is not much. Like a wave returns to the sea into the blue. All right, well, we still got it. That's not too bad of a chip from up there on that hill. Next time, uh, back nine, if we get to in the same spot, we will use more backspin. If someone could go back and... Okay, I used 4.5 backspin, so I definitely need to use more than 4.5 backspin. I'm thinking upwards of, like, at least six for that shot. Monty says dunk it. I don't... Uh, I'm not a huge dunk person. I don't do a lot of dunking. Alex Spurlock, what's going on? How's it going? Got to be up early and go to PHTLS class. Fun, fun, says Melissa. Well, good luck with your class, Melissa. I got to wake up early and uh, we're going to an Easter egg hunt for the boys. So that'll be fun. It's always fun to see them running around trying to collect Easter eggs. My, my seven-year-old has gotten kind of pretty competitive with it. <laughs> He takes after his father, I guess. I was, I don't know. People tell me I was one of the most competitive people they ever knew uh, as I've been growing up. I think I've, I've mellowed out a little bit, but uh, I'm still pretty competitive. All right, hole six. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to get my notes back out here. Uh, hole six is the part three. And we hit this one on Tuesday. I have not hit it since. I keep getting so close to this shot dropping, but it just refuses to drop. It is the sniper. Ooh, did y'all see that apocalypse card pop up? Yeah, that was nice. That was nice. He says, I got to dunk that. <laughs> I uh, I just don't uh, do a lot of dunking. I, I did, however, dunk the second shot for hole number four on my Who's account earlier. Um, and it was a pretty sweet shot. Brian Robinson's in the house. What's up, brother? What's up? Minus 26 has you in 15th. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty grouped up tournament. Between minus 26 and minus 27, it's going to be a pretty big grouping. I think uh, opening round scores and qualification scores are definitely going to come into play. For sure. Lonnie, Lonnie Hill, uh, thank you for the good luck and good luck to you on your finish. Janice says she was five back and on the fringe as well. Okay, so that, that means that uh, I need to land the shot farther back on the actual fairway itself then, uh, I'm guessing. Okay. All right. Thanks for that. Uh, thanks for that, Jana.
Alright, we're going with that. Man, I just keep I keep getting so close on this shot. 8.9. There's five. Eight point nine. There we go. Hit it perfect. So this one's gonna come in. It's either in the hole or right there on the hole. Right there on the hole. I don't know. If I I'm aiming left edge and I end up on left edge. I'm aiming straight at the hole and I'm I'm ending up on the right edge. It's like it's all like almost there's like no perfect spot to aim on this shot anymore. Which is so odd, because the first few times I played it, I hit the ace. And I feel like I'm making the same exact adjustments as I did before. It's just not falling this time. I don't know. Sometimes sometimes shots are like that, though, in this game. I mean, they're just not explainable. But uh, I've seen it work, so I'm going to stick with it. And uh, we'll just hope that it starts to fall uh, for the weekend round. <laughs> it James says it's hard to tame. <laughs> Well, James, send me over some tips, brother. Have you been taking that shot, or uh, how, how have you been approaching that uh, that second shot on that hole, brother? Oh, you got the Apocalypse 6 on your Skippy account, dude. It's like Christmas for you. <laughs> Golf Class Shabe. What's up, dude? Welcome, welcome. Good to see you in here, sir. <laughs> your, your phone caught Timitis. <laughs> Two auto releases tonight. Dang, man. I think um, it was the other day Tim was saying he was having some issues with auto release again on his brand new phone. So, and you're having the same issues as well. So, I don't know. It makes you kind of wonder. But uh, I'm sorry to hear that you caught some Timitis. That's, uh, that, can, that can definitely be a bad thing sometimes. Usually anything involving Tim is a pretty good thing. But... That's definitely not. <laughs> hey, Scooter, what's going on? You missed, you've missed. you already missed some booms, Scooter. You've already missed some booms. All right, hole seven. All right, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna try to give you another chance for a boom here on hole seven. Okay. I'm gonna try to give you another chance for a boom here on hole number seven. Thorn, Saturn. Cut the Nirvana in. All right. Ten percent. <clears throat> See if we can pop some more Apocalypse cards here. That was nice. And it's quasi. No. Nope. All right. Here we go. Hole number seven. Let's see if we can make some more magic happen. Your only bonus shot was out of the rough. <laughs> Go figure, huh? <laughs> yeah, uh, Michael, I've, I've hit the ace twice on that hole. And uh, I know a lot of other people that have as well. And uh, it's definitely a shot that is there. And I don't know any other adjustment that's dropping shots like that one is. So I, I really don't have a reason to switch. It's just uh, it gets frustrating when you know you're making the same adjustment, but uh, you're just not getting it to drop it. It could be, it could be somewhere in my uh, my adjustment for the wind that I'm just like, just barely missing a little bit or something like that. Um, so I don't know. We'll keep with it. Hopefully we get it to drop on the weekend. Some Bobby, uh, a little bit past uh, ten. I can't remember exactly what time it was. That right curl right there should save me on that shot. And that's going to be over by a lot. Too much, maybe. Wow, look at that. Too much. <clears throat> Need a little bit more right curl. Yeah, four is right. My opponent is uh, is trolling me now. <laughs> oh, he says nice shot now. <laughs> wow, that one went into the rough. 
Too good of a shot. That was a great, great left. Right, so great lefts will go into the rough. Great rights are okay though on that shot. It's weird. So we won't have the chance on the front nine at least for the uh, the thorn backspin shot, which sucks. I really wanted to try that shot here. Have a really good feeling about that shot. But we will try the Nirvana, hopefully. All right, uh, Mr. Frank Grimey Grimes, have a good night. Is the Thor 3 unusable? No, I would definitely not say so. The Thor 3 has got a nice backspin to it. This one at uh, four rings. Great to the right. Yeah, we'll miss. Not a bad shot though, right there. Would have loved to have a shot with that thorn. Hopefully, on the back nine, we won't roll into the rough and uh, we'll have a good chance for the backspin thorn shot right there. Mm, mm, mm. Try one to one plus 0.5 on hole six. Okay. We'll try that. We can try that on the back nine, Michael. Definitely nothing uh, nothing that's going to hurt me by trying that for sure. <laughs> he tried the globe with your Thor's hammer. <laughs> well, Jana, that. Uh, I hope you were able to still save the uh, the birdie at least. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> I'm sure worse mistakes have been made in your golf class career. Everybody's shooting. Everybody's shooting good, okay, absolute crap. How are y'all shooting? I've seen some pretty decent scores. I'm still thinking minus 27 to a minus 30 is going to be uh, what wins brackets. Uh, most likely more 28 to 30 is going to be my guess. Minus 27 may still sneak in and get a medal here and there. But uh, expert and master's expert brackets, I'm definitely going to say 28 to 30 is my guess. I don't know what, uh, what's been like the cut lines in some of y'all's brackets. Can you jump that bunker with the APOC 5? Yes, sir. Uh, I mean, yes, ma'am, Janet, you can. Uh, I do it on my Who's account. You will not completely cleanly jump from fairway to fairway, but you will hit the rough and roll out onto the fairway a good distance and leave yourself a max range thorn shot. So I can tell you that uh, uh, I've done it three different times on my Who's account. So it's definitely a possible shot. And I would set it up the same exact way. Full top spin, two right spin uh, with the same line that you aim it on as I aimed my APOC 6 and a little bit uh, um, of left uh, curl like I used. But uh, full over power. So yes, APOC 5 will work on that shot for sure. All right, hole number eight. Hole number eight is Sniper and Kingmaker. 30%. And this will be the last tournament where you all get to watch my overlay and uh, see the uh, adjustments that I'm using based off of it. I'm sorry, but uh, it has been uh, outlawed. Unfortunately, it's a great teaching tool, a great way for you all to be able to see 
what I'm doing, what kind of adjustments I'm making, but unfortunately, Playdemic is pulling the plug on allowing overlays. So, some people like it, some people don't like it, some people don't care. To me, personally, it doesn't bother me because I played, I did just as good without it than I did with it, uh, but I do like it for a teaching tool, and uh, it kind of sucks that I'm not going to be able to use it uh, for that anymore. I just have to play with it on a different tablet off to the side, and that's how I'm going to have to use it from here on out. I'm definitely not going back to paper charts. That is too much paper and too much work. All right. Sniper, there you are. Kingmaker's in, and we are set. Do I think the game is rigged? I don't think the game is rigged. Um, I don't see any benefit that the game would have in putting people on losing streaks. Because, uh, you know, a lot of times that just drives people away from the game. And I don't know why a game would want to, like, purposely cause people to lose a lot and uh, piss them off. That, would, that just doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, so I don't, I don't think it's rigged. I definitely don't think it's rigged. Could you sometimes maybe fall, you know, into a little bit of bad luck? Uh, yes. Rigged, I, I don't know that I would go as far as to say rigged. That's just kind of my opinion, though, on it. Emily got a minus 27 and a minus 26 in pro. Well done, Emily. Those are, uh, those are good scores in the pro. Pro's tough. Definitely tough. 20, minus 24 cut line, wow. That's crazy. Alex, you salvaged a minus 24 for being you were off today. That's pretty good to be off and still get a minus 24. That means you only missed one. You've only missed really one of the eagles that you should have got on each nine. So that's not too bad. Ray Young, minus 29. Rookie account, nice. Jeff Lalonde, minus 28. Pro account, well done. Michael Bolton, you got a lot of accounts, bro. You got a lot of accounts. <laughs> Joe Kennedy, minus 27. Good job. KD, minus 28. Well done. Man, some nice scores in here. Well done, y'all. Third pro tournament, uh, minus 25 with a par. And two birdies on par fives. Wow, Todd. So that's, uh, that's a minus 28 if you turn those around on the weekend. Hopefully you make the cut and can uh, get that gold. All right, so 30% here. Uh, we're playing... Four right and three and a half backspin. And now we're going to make a 10.6 ring adjustment here. Hit perfect. This one's going to be close or in the hole as well. A mm -hmm. little bit off. Need a little bit more. Um, need a little bit more play for that wind push. Didn't quite go enough. Need at least a full square of offset for that shot right there. I don't think I was a full square offset. I think I, I went a full square offset on uh, my Who's account, and I ended up uh, just to the left of the cup. So I'm I'm kind of half tempted to say I did not fully adjust my 10.6 correctly, right there, uh, based off of those results. But uh, that's something I would have to go back and and check the film. But I'm I'm. I'm kind of confident to say I don't believe I had that 10.6 measured off completely 100% correctly. I don't know. I could be wrong. I feel good on all the par threes. I'm, I'm like around all of them. So, you know, at any point they could start dropping. Uh, Michael Bolton, yes. Plus 30% right there. Yes, sir. Jeff Lalonde, yes. You had that very nice uh, hole-in-one ace on the... On 10, that was very cool. I remember seeing the uh, the replay of that. Right. 
Yeah, I accidentally, I accidentally dropped back last weekend, Janet. It definitely wasn't purposefully. It was just, uh, it was a matter of just not getting on and playing enough. But definitely wasn't anything that I benefit from because um, once you're, once you're, uh, you know, a master's level, you're master's level. You can't, uh, you can't relegate back on purpose anymore. So I need to get that back up to masters before. Uh, before Sunday, so that I can re I can collect the extra uh, reward percentages. But uh, yeah, didn't think about that. Uh, but that could be a reason. That I guess is why we're not matching. Didn't even think about that. Four back, four right, and you lipped out. Ooh, the lip, the dreaded lip out. <laughs> All right. Uh, I see Apoc. <clears throat> we're going with the. Um, The Berserker. Put the Berserker ball I use here. Let me go back here and see. Or is it the Gridiron? Gridiron ball. I want the Gridiron ball here. I want that extra wind resistance. Mainly for the second shot. Alright, I'm going to put in the... Um, I'm going to put in the B-52 here. I got the Thorn in. I got the Nirvana in. I believe that's what I want. All right, let's go. Ooh, did you see those Grim Reaper cards? Ooh, yeah. That was awesome. All right, here we go. 10%. Power 5 and APOC. Michael Bolton with that sexy purple shield next to his name. <laughs> I appreciate the, uh, I appreciate it, Michael. What's that? Six months? I think the purple shield is six months. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get working on my 12 month shield here pretty soon. I've got a few people that uh, won't be far from it here. Minus 27th in third place. Man, you in a tough bracket, Justin. Tough bracket. 9.9, .9, that's 8.2 rings. Full top and two right. We're gonna go uh, full power, half ball of right curl. And that one should be good. I might, ah oh man, I might've gone not enough right curl. Come on, roll through, roll through. Good news is, I think I'm far enough through where I can safely play my Nirvana shot without having to worry about any kind of a crazy hook or anything like that. <clears throat> Needed a little bit more curl than, um, than a half a ball. I don't know why I did a half a ball there. Well, I don't have anything even written down on my notes, so. So three quarters, three quarters of a ball of curl on that one for the back nine. <clears throat> All right, we'll get the Nirvana out here. Hopefully we'll have um, an open lane with the Nirvana. Prince Alex. <laughs> Bo Birdington, what's up, dude? How's it going? Well, we do have... Yikes. All right, let's see what we're gonna do here. Full right spin and back spin. Okay, ourselves up there in position where we have a chance to chip it in I didn't want to do a whole lot too much with that shot just because of the positioning of the tree limbs as you all could saw, see my my ball guide was red and that meant interference with the tree limbs so 
Unfortunately, the uh, the Nirvana doesn't have a ton of curl to it. So I didn't feel like I could just curl it out of there. Um, but hopefully we have, a ch we have a good chance now at least to still drop this shot. A lot better chance than my opponent does, that's for sure. All right, uh, Michael Bolton. Sounds good, brother. This is a scary shot right here. Because you do go uphill. But it looks like I'm pretty much bouncing over the hill. So I'm not really having to worry about that. All right, we got it. Perfect. I don't know if y'all saw what I was talking about. That that bounce to actually took it over the hill and landed it up on that ridge, which was really nice. And uh, it's not a bad save right there. It, that's that's kind of silly to have to be in that position to try to make a save like that. But, you know, I, I'm just uh, happy to be uh, able to have the chance to make that save. But I would really like to be giving that one a shot at the Albatross. So hopefully the back nine we can put ourselves in a little bit better of a position. Oh no, that's not good, Scott. Thank you, Bo. I appreciate it, brother. I liked it too. I liked it too. Thank you, Shabe. I appreciate it. Bo, thank you, thank you. Those are scary chips, you know, not because it's a hard chip, but, you know, we all know what that little ridge is like, and we know what, like, you know, we know what the ball does sometimes when you're trying to uh, hit your shot up there. It can sometimes take some really crazy twists and turns, so anytime you're, you're trying to save a stroke and uh, having to make a chip like that, it can be a little bit intimidating when it really shouldn't be. Did I bowl a 200? No, I bowled 168 on the first game, and that was with two open frames, and uh, and then I was in like we didn't get to finish the second game because the bowling alley was closing, but it was a bit it would have been about the same, so right about about 170, which is not bad because I bowl about three times a year. <laughs> I used to bowl regularly and have an average up in the 180s. Uh, high game is 278 in my career, so I used to I used to throw the ball down the down the alley pretty good. <clears throat> All right, front nine minus 14. We're definitely uh, on pace for uh, our goal, and we'll get ready to start our back nine. Change out our ball, back to the Kingmaker, and we can go ahead and get going. I believe James is still planning to stream after I finish, so trying to get through this at a, a reasonable rate. One minus 23 is through, and then the rest are out. Wow, what a what a cluster. What a cluster that is. Do I bowl two-handed? I can bowl with my left or my right hand. I mainly bowl with my right hand, but there are certain spare combinations that I will uh, switch to my left hand and use my left hand. <laughs> yes, I agree, Jeff. That is a brutal ridge. All right, Scooter, have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. Mr. Happy from L's Misfit Diner. <laughs> Got a, a clan named after a diner. I, I only wonder if, like, all the people that are in that clan go to that diner and just, like, sit in there and play Golf Clash together. Like drinking coffee and, and eating. <laughs> nice shot, though. 
Nice shot. All right, we'll see what we can do here. Uh, Eight point one. Full left. Three and a half back. We're gonna land. We're gonna land this shot right about up in there. Six point four rings. A little bit of overpower is, re is required here. Great left, I'm not 100% too worried about that. Sit ball, all right. We're in good shape. I definitely like the results right there. I'm gonna take that. Uh, I'm not gonna get too aggressive with the pin on this hole. I've seen a lot of things going wrong on this pin, on this hole for a lot of people, including going into that bunker uh, when you do like over the power of the shot too much. So you definitely want to be paying attention to how much into overpower you are drawing your your wind adjustment back into. Um, so you definitely want to keep an, an eye on that and uh, definitely do not overpower that shot too much. You got to find that that happy that happy zone where it's just enough overpower, but not too much overpower. Nico in the house. Ben Joe Manco in the house. Bobby Huckabee in the house. How's it going, y'all? Two for two on the eagle here. I'll take that on the round. A plate of bacon on every albatross. <laughs> oh man. Been using the centurion ball for the wind four. I don't believe, I think I've used like one or two total centurion balls. I am like a ball whore. I don't like I don't use the ball unless I like have to. Which could be good and could be bad at the same in the same you know the same time. I like to try to play my rounds with Kingmaker balls, but if I know another ball is gonna give me an advantage to possibly gain a stroke, then I'm definitely gonna use it. That's like my criteria. Will upgrading a ball that I use give me a better percent chance at gaining a stroke on that hole? If it's a no, then I don't. If it's a yes, then I do. Ooh, it's tough, Scott. Uh, Scott DeWitt. I, I went into the bunker myself with that shot. And it's all about the wind angle. Um, and, you know, pulling that shot into overpower and just really being able to eyeball the uh, the landing zone off of that, uh, off that overpower pull. Uh, I had to come off about half my power uh, the last time I used it, and even then I was fairly close to the bunker. So, yeah, man, it's 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 a better option to use still than a full overpower uh, shot with the extra mile, I think. But it's definitely a risky shot, and it makes it much tougher. Uh, Apoc five definitely gives a person an advantage in the expert on this course. Jeff, what's up, brother? Welcome, welcome. Good to see you in here, sir. All right, so hole number 10 or 11 is up next. And now on the front nine, all right, we're going to make some switches here. We're not going to make the same mistake twice. We found ourselves in uh, in long iron range, and we had the, the, uh, the Saturn in. We're not going to do that again. So we got the B-52 in this time. Got the, the sniper. And we played play the firework ball last time, which is win two. I can't remember what other ball I have that may be a little bit better of a fit. What did I use? I'm trying to think what I used on my Who's account. 
same one. What did I use on my his account? I use, oh, I use the royal underwear ball. I don't believe I have any of those in this account. All right, so we're just gonna have to stick with the, uh, the firework ball and take the risk of uh, going too far. But we do have the B-52 in this time, so if we do uh, find ourselves in a similar position, then we will, uh, we will be in luck. We will have a safe, a safe out. I agree, Bo. Bacon, bacon does rule. I had um, bacon wrapped carrot last night that my wife brought home from work. It was good. <laughs> it's it's hard to not find something good when you wrap it in bacon. The shell ball. What was the dead ball? Let me see. okay. I'll go back and look now. Y'all got me interested. I can't remember what the shell ball is. Let's see, what is the shell ball? Wind 2, side 2, power 4. See, I don't have a whole lot of those left, though. And the dead ball. There's the dead ball. Wind 3, side spin 2. That's what I want right there. Okay, wind 3. That's what I was looking for. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whoever said dead ball. Michael, thank you, sir. That's what I was looking for. Mohammed81, thank you, thank you. Hello again, Mr. Fenzi. <laughs> uh, full top, two right. Full power with a little bit of left curl, Fenzi. That's what I used. That's what I've been using on uh, my APOC 5 and APOC 6 account. And you can use 2 or 3 right spin, it won't matter. Do keep in mind though, with APOC 5, your shot is most likely going to hit the rough and spin out of the rough that way. <laughs> uh, at least eat the bacon, right Scott? <laughs> So I got any streamers here in the room, they're going to be streaming tomorrow. Um, if you are planning to stream tomorrow and you are a streamer in the chat, definitely feel free to uh, post in the chat your stream schedule for tomorrow so that uh, anybody that's in here can maybe stop by and catch you in your stream. I will not be streaming tomorrow. I will be doing my normal Sunday stream. <clears throat> All right, so full top, do right. 8.6 is... That's 4... 5... 6... 7... There we go. That one should be good. And we'll see. Uh, that's like it's going to be about. All right, now, this one actually may be a little bit better. It's farther to the left than I was uh, last time. So instead of like cutting off some distance to the right, it went a little bit more left. And oh, we'll be able to tell quickly here. See, my opponent's got the X ball. And. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to be in a uh, long distance, long iron distance again. I don't know. It'll be close. It's going to be close. I'm going to, I'm going to put in my, put in my B-52 just in case. But I'm going to start with my sniper in.
Uh, Ray Young, I do not have the uh, that adjustment off the top of my head for you. Uh, it may be somebody here. Michael Bolton, I know you've played some pro in the tournament. If you have that adjustment, definitely uh, if you could let Ray Young know, help him out right there. All right, Min is right here. like this at all but we don't have time to mess around we're just gonna have to hit this one Shoot. <clears throat> it wasn't uh, that's the bad I hadn't ever been that far left on that fairway but uh, as you all could see, it takes away that that angle for that shot. Uh, just not a left le enough left spin to make that shot. And I was not going to risk going any closer to that um, that rough than I already was. So I guess that's the downside of playing the uh, the sniper. If you get too far left in that fairway, you really are left without much of a shot. At least to use your. Uh, your back spin and your side spin anyways all right well that's good to know um, it was far enough it was far enough out to use the sniper but wasn't close enough in to really use the b52 if that makes any sense at that position right there you know if if I knew I was gonna get to that position right there I would probably, I'd probably bring the Guardian every time, but I've, I've played that shot two, four, about 12 times, and I've never been in that position, so, you know, one out of 12 times I was in that position and would have needed the Guardian. Every other time it's pretty much been a sniper shot, a perfect sniper shot. So, you know, I, I definitely won't make a switch as far as clubs go uh, based off of one result. Um, now, if it was like flip-flop and I was like in that position most of the time, then I would have bring the, uh, be bringing the Guardian for that shot. It's not like in PGA Tour Shootout where you can, you can bring multiple woods in your bag and then switch them out mid-hole. Uh, mid <laughs> RJ needs a duct tape fund. <laughs> Man. Dave Harry, how's it going? How's it going? Welcome. Thank you, Dave. I appreciate it. Bethany Dawn, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Thank you, Kim. I appreciate it. KD, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Minus 25, not bad, considering you said you're no expert. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Did I use a little bit more curl? I may possibly have David. Um, that's definitely very possible. That would that would definitely explain why uh, why I was farther left, for sure. All right, hole twelve. Let's we'll see if we can get this one to drop. We got really close on the front nine, and we we're going to adjust our shot just a little bit on the back nine. We said. So Kingmaker and Sniper. And it sounds like we lost the music. Did we lose the music. Oh no, we didn't we didn't lose it. Now I'm walking on a trail. 
All right, here we go. Hole 12. Judge Judy and <laughs> Justin Ju Justin Judy. <laughs> How's it going, Dave? From Maui, Hawaii. Very cool. Waluku, Maui, Hawaii. Very awesome. Very cool. What time is it over there in uh, in Hawaii right now? Perfect hit. Let's see how this one comes in. Boom! Boom! There we go. There's y'all reason to get a little hype in that chat. Come on now. Come on. Finally paid off. Stick into that shot. I got so close so many times. So close so many times. Finally got it. That's why we stay with our adjustments. And that's why we keep fine-tuning shots. That's why we do it. Right there. For moments like that. I hope Jeff Jensen's still in here for that one. Awesome to see that one drop. Here we go. Here's the wheelie boom. There it is. Booyah. I like that, Michael. I like that. The only problem is I don't have any blue cans right now to be celebrating with. <laughs> you want to replay? All right, Shade. You ask for a replay, you get a replay. Here we go. I, I aimed this one with the edge of my ball guide just barely into the uh, the second light green box on the right hand side of the of the hole. But that one rolled in with perfect, perfect speed. So I've now aced all three of the par threes with the adjustments that I am currently using. So I feel pretty good about that. It's always nice to go into the weekend round knowing you have the chance to ace all three par threes. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah, I didn't go. I've been, I've been going halfway into that, that second green uh, square, Jeff, with the end of the ball guide. And I've just been like, aim I've just been ending like about a half a cup to the right of a hole, you know, like multiple times. So I started moving that that tip in to the left just a little bit. Uh, and that time it was just barely inside of the square and I got the drop. So somewhere in between, you know, the the left edge and the middle is the sweet spot. So very cool. Very cool. Uh, no, that's... Um, that that shot right there, Michael Bolton, is just a one-to-one -one adjustment. You just play a one-to-one -one adjustment. Thank you, SC. Appreciate it. It went in the second time. Yeah, amazing, huh? <clears throat> All right. Thirteen is next. Let's see if we can make the ha the magic happen again on thirteen. Uh, we got the driver. Uh, we need to switch back here to the Saturn. Kingmaker is good. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. 10% APOC. Power three. Mm. 
The opponent ran out of time too. I didn't even notice that, K. David. Dang, that's crazy. Well, you're welcome, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Uh, I. That's pretty funny. He got a birdie without taking a shot. I, I really wish they stood a little bit closer to the same rules you use in regular golf, like going in the water is a stroke penalty. Uh, you know, I really think they should make people play out the hole uh, in tournament play. I really do have an issue with, uh, you know, being awarded strokes that you don't deserve. And uh, if they made it where you had to play out your shots, that would take care of a lot of the cheating in the tournaments as well. 9.0, a little bit more uh, wind this time than we had on the front nine, it looks like. So four top, max right. We aim our, uh, just just a little bit of a gap between the edge of the, um, that, that rough right there. And now we're gonna go 7.1 rings. So that's five point one. A little overpower, right curl, and we hit perfect. And this one should be good. It should be similar to our uh, our front nine shot. Stop ball. All right, so we're in about the same location that we were um, for our shot on the front nine. Minus ten, and hopefully we can. Uh, have same results we had on the front nine. That'd be awesome. Thank you, uh, James. Appreciate that, brother. <laughs> what happens if I make this shot? You gonna go create another account? <laughs> I agree. They need to play out the holes. I, I wish they would just do away with... Uh, you know, shootouts and tournaments all together. Man, they could make these tournaments go so much quicker. 7.5. Just under min. Hmm. I don't like that. I don't like landing on the, uh, that fringe. do it here. Four rings. Yeah, perfect. Let's see what this one comes in at. Boom! <laughs> Come on, tiebreaker. This is going to be a tiebreaker. Come on. Let's do it. Come on. Let's see some more booms in the shot. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> we on some fire tonight, y'all. Straight fire. Come on, let's see that, uh, let's see that, uh, them fire emojis from my my sponsors come on let's see it in the chat come on let's go let's see some fire let's see it there we go 100% lit right there boom all right come on come on let's keep it going A puck, guardian. Now, last time we played this hole, we got stuck up on the ridge um, with four and a half backspin. So I wanted to add more backspin to the second shot if we get into the same location. Um, but also, I think I'm gonna have to land the shot a little bit farther back in the fairway uh, as well. <laughs> Skippy Alley Cats just subscribed. <laughs> Dang, James, how many, how many accounts you got, brother? <laughs> Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Well done, Bethany. 
Congratulations, that is awesome. Well done. Alright, so APOC Guardian. Open up another chest here. And off we go. I do want to put um, a Titan Ball in. I don't remember if I put a Titan Ball in or not. We will play a 10% for this shot. Power ball, power one ball works the same on six. Uh, I haven't tried it with a power one ball, but I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't. Um, as long as you were in the correct clan uh, before you open the chest, your that clan will get the points, so you'll be fine. So like, you know, make sure you, you're in the clan that you want to be in on Sunday night before you go to bed. Sandy Bell, what's up? Thank you, thank you. Alright, let's see what we can do here. This is definitely still a dangerous drive because it's very easy to miss two great left or two great right and end up somewhere you don't want to be. So it's definitely not a gimme drive. Still gotta, definitely gotta concentrate still for this shot. Oh, okay. Interesting. Didn't know that, James. Yes, Jeff is 100% correct. <laughs> Put the bacon in. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Give me some bacon. Yeah, I have the wrong ball in. Let's see. Titan ball. Considerably less wind uh, this time. But that should be okay right there. It's gonna be close. Oh man, we caught that ridge. <clears throat> I'm hoping we're still gonna have enough distance to get to that green in two. I think we will. I think we're just gonna have to really rely on the uh, the wind for this next shot. Oh, we just barely caught that ridge of the rough, but luckily we rolled out pretty good still. That's why you bring the, the Guardian uh, and not the Sniper on this hole, is for something like that. Um, you could also bring your Cataclysm or your Big Dog if you wanna get really ultra safe for that Eagle as well. We'll see what kind of a wind we get here. Wind, 10.5. Wow, we got a really nice wind. So we're going to land up, up in there. So full right. It's about four rings. Okay. We're going to go regular power, a little bit of right curl. And that should get us there. It's going to roll up the hill, and then it should roll back down the hill. And that's going to leave us a nice, safe eagle putt. And it's going to be a little bit of a tilt to that eagle putt, but definitely not a bad position considering our, our drive did catch a little bit of that rough. We'll take it. Could have gotten a little bit more right curl on that shot and possibly gotten it a little bit closer to the hole. Uh, but do when you add the curl on that shot from that position, you do risk a, on a great right going into that rough and that bunker on the right-hand side, which is uh, not a place that you want to be. So I kind of just played the safe shot and did not use a lot of... Uh, a lot of curl there. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got here. Hope it's not too tough of a putt. 
Nope, perfect. There we go. There's the eagle. Disaster averted. We'll take it. And we got the eagle. Awesome. All right. Is your nephew okay, RJ? <laughs> I, I hear he was owed quite uh, the beatdown. Thank you, David Austin. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. All right, so hole 15. Hole 15. Let's see if we can get the ace to drop. And we're going to play one to one plus 0.5, I think you said. Actually, I'm going to stick with my, my original uh, lineup. Um, no, dis no disrespect to Michael, but I, I'm just going to stick with my original uh, spec that's gotten me two aces and uh, keep plugging away with that. Hopefully, it, you know, it rewards me for loyalty to it. <laughs> so we got the sniper, we got the kingmaker ball, and we are ready. Here we go. Give me an ace. Let's go. Uh, it's Coca-Cola, Jamie. Nothing, nothing exciting. We went bowling um, earlier, and uh, it was a refill from the bowling alley. <laughs> No, nothing exciting. I did have I did have a couple uh, beers earlier at BWW with uh, Cool Breeze, aka Derek. He was in town, and him and I and uh, his brother-in-law got together and chatted for about an hour and a half. And time goes by very quickly when you're you're having a good visit. That's for sure. All right, we're gonna play the shot like that this time. 9.1 rings. Hit it perfect. Well, same thing off to the right. I mean, uh, you know, Pulling it another 0.5 rings would have just taken it off to the right even more. So I don't know. I'm going to have to... I guess I'm just going to really have to look at that ball guide and uh, make sure it's definitely pointing left of the hole, or at least the left edge of the hole. But I, I feel like last time I played that shot, left edge of the hole, it ended up left of the hole. So I don't know. I'm going to stick with it and uh, just hope that, uh, you know... It gets me to drop here sooner or later. <laughs> I go back and forth, Jamie. I like Pepsi as well. Um, but I really like the new uh, orange vanilla Coke. And uh, when I start seeing that stuff in two liter bottles, wow, I can't wait for that. That stuff's so good. It reminds me of the, um, the orange cream soda that you used to get at Crackle Barrel, or you can get in Crackle Barrel. I used to order it as a child all the time. <clears throat> so the birdie there. We did get the ace already on a par three, so I can't complain too much. I'm happy about that other ace. All right, so cool. Uh, you know, Derek got the ace on his with one backspin, low and left spin. Derek, are you where are you aiming the shot at? Are you aiming it like straight at the hole or uh, left side of the cup? What's your uh, what's your aim point looking like with that shot? I want to feel like I've hit that shot once at the middle and once at the left hand edge of the cup. 
We're doing it wrong. You should be playing the wind angle straight to the hole. Larry Hutchins, what's up, brother? He says, line up more left on the pad and then adjust. All right. Some good, uh, we've got some, some definitely some good opinions here. Jeff and Larry, both giving some tips and opinions. Barely left of the cup. Okay. I think my shot right there was lined up more at the cup. So definitely, you know, just left of the cup would make sense. But I mean, I've hit the shot twice, so I mean, I've got I've got confidence that it can fall with that adjustment. So that's why I'm very hesitant to even, you know, move away from that adjustment. Half a bin, half a bar right spin and then line it up. All right. All right, hole 16 is next, and uh, on the front nine we played this shot and we rolled through the second fairway and into the rough, believe it or not. But yes, hopefully we can uh, give ourselves a chance at the, uh, the Thorn backspin shot this time. I'm actually thinking about going with the Berserker Ball on this shot this time. I think I'm going to throw the Berserker Ball. I don't think the one, re one wind resistance is going to hurt me bad enough to, to not be able to make that hop. I think that'll be fine. Oh yeah, I remember the Jones Cream Soda, Monty. I definitely remember those. Growing up as a child, the uh, the little convenience store next to uh, next to us had one. Had them. <clears throat> Used to get them all the time. <laughs> all right. Let's try to make this drive, give ourselves a chance at this eagle drop. We'll love to at least get one chance at this eagle drop. That's not going to be good. That was fortunate. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't fortunate. Uh, we'll have to see what this second shot looks like. Wow, that was bad. Uh, mm, that was way pre-release. <laughs> I'm hoping that we're going to be in, hmm, I have no idea even what we're going to be in. Never been in this position before. I'm going to guess sniper position. And I'm going to try to probably play from the left hand side, so that's going to be a minus 20%. We're basically in salvage mode right now. Wow, that was bad. Alright, S sniper. Left side. I definitely am not going to attempt the rough bump with uh, with this wind. That's what the full top spin gets you. I basically sand bumped out of that. <clears throat> okay. This is super scary here. 
All right, I am going to... I'm just going to leave that percentage on there. So 5.1... I am not even going to, um, I'm not even going to adjust this here, I'm just going to hit it. And use the backspin and just salvage this. Just going to salvage this birdie. No even reason to risk that. So what you all see me, saw me do there is it called for a five ring adjustment um, for that shot. I didn't adjust any at all because I wanted that shot to actually land five rings from the spot uh, of where I was so that I would be landing on the actual um, green. I didn't want anything to do with that fringe or that uh, that fairway landing zone because of the, the slope on it. Uh, so for that reason, you know, you just have to bail and just do what you can do to salvage the birdie right there. And uh, for me, that was just using full backspin on the Saturn and uh, making sure I landed on the green and gave myself a chance to roll back. So that's a, that's a good birdie right there, considering the uh, considering the drive. Definitely not a bad birdie. <clears throat> it, the the percentages really didn't matter, Monty, on that shot because I wasn't going for the rough bump. Um, if you play it from the left side, you know I would have probably I would have played it straight up. If I was going to play the thorn um, backspin shot, I would have played it straight up. If you're going to play the the sniper rough bump, and yes, definitely minus 40%. If you're going to play the uh, the curl shot from the left side of that fairway, uh, from the lower level, it's a minus 20% shot. Uh, but for me, the percentages really didn't mean anything on that shot. All my concern was was getting up on that green and giving myself a chance to putt for an easy uh, birdie. But yes, if you do play the rough bump, that is a 40% adjustment for that shot. Correct. Very dangerous, very dangerous rough bump though. Wow, adjusting down to that bunker is scary. You definitely want to be taking um, a sniper shot at minimum uh, distance on that rough bump if you have the chance to do it. <laughs> All right, hole 17. <clears throat> All right, hole 17. We got um, we got a chance for the ace. We're gonna try to see if we can get this one to fall this time. We're playing this one at uh, plus 30 percent. And here we go, hole 17. Let's get this ace to drop. Give ourselves a chance at the minus 30. That would be awesome. I appreciate all of y'all who have hung out and uh, stayed here in the stream tonight. My, my number thing is stuck on 98. I don't know that that's the correct number currently. It seems like it works for part of the stream and then it stops working, so I'm not 100% sure on where we're at currently. I really do like that rough bump. I just don't like uh, having to adjust straight back down into that bunker. If it was like a left to right or a side wind, ooh, I rough bump that all day long. But man, that, that tailwind adjustment is definitely dangerous back into that bunker. Is worth my new sponsor? No. <laughs> One of the softball teams that I played for at once upon a time did uh, did have a, a partial worth sponsorship. We got bags and uniforms and stuff like that, so that was pretty cool. <laughs> but that was quite a while ago. Plus thirty percent. Plus point two percent. One sixteen. Okay. 
Yep, the counter is definitely broken. We were up in the 140s the other night. That was pretty cool. So Wednesday night? Yeah, Wednesday night we were up in the 140s. All right, let's see what we got here. 8-3. I like that 11 ring adjustment for sure. Oh, we got Michael Griffin here. That's pretty cool. Alright, so 11. 11 rings. So we'll go 6 on our first one here. And 5 on this one. Hit perfect. So this one's going to come in very close. Wow. That one came in way left. Kind of odd. Four right and 3.5 back is the uh, is the adjustment that I got the ace on for this hole. But um, might have to go a little bit more backspin on that shot with the sniper 10. The uh, the ace was done with the sniper nine, and uh, we we thought maybe you needed the four. But then we kind of backed off the four. But I don't know. I, I'm not so sure that the four wouldn't be the correct adjustment for that shot with the sniper 10. Cuzzed has subscribed. Thank you very much, Cuz T. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> four right. Yeah, four right. Uh, I went 3.5 back. And yes, max max plus thirty percent is the uh, is the adjustment on that one. We'll go ahead and just play this hole since it is someone that we know. Mr. Michael Griffin is a, uh, a member of the 19th hole. Not a bad shot right there. You gotta play. Uh, you gotta play for that win push. That's why we played with the the ball guys so short of the hole. We were expecting that uh, that tailwind to push that shot, which it did. And you will probably see Michael do uh, the same thing. Yeah, a little backspin. He's going to aim uh, back and left of the hole for that left to right tailwind to kind of push that shot. Uh, extend that ball guide. So you got to play with the extended ball guide here with that type of a tailwind. And then he'll probably play a one-to-one -one adjustment as well, just like I did. And he'll probably play it pretty close, if not uh, closer than me. Thank you, Sandy Bell. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Play at plus 10 into power. I played at plus 12. Okay. Plus 10 into power. Oh, wow. Great shootout there, Michael. 1.16. Nice job. All right. Plus 10. All right. I got that down. Plus 10. Appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, you can play it at a plus 20%. If you, you know, that's the thing about these par threes. You know, you, you can play them at whatever percentage you want, you know, and you just have to make small adjustments to the way you play the spins and stuff like that. I mean, there's no correct, 100% correct way to play a hole. It's just, it all comes down to the way that you adjust for your shots and dial in your shot, you know. There's not just like one specific, you gotta play it hole this way if you wanna get the ace. No, you get the ace lots of different ways, and it's always cool to see people come up with different ways to get the ace, you know? 
That's what makes this game so unique is the ability to be creative and customize your your own round to your you know to your game skill. All right. So minus 27 after 17, we got one more hole left here. We got, hopefully we give ourselves a chance at the Albatross this time. We did not on the front nine. We had to bail ourselves out. Apocalypse. We'll stick with the, uh, the grid iron ball. One percent. Power five. Uh, we will go back and check, make sure we have the uh, B-52 in. I wanted to look at something here real quick. Maybe that's how it is. Alright, we're ready to go. Open up one of these chests here. Who's the boomerangs? My night is complete. I got boomerang cards. <laughs> I haven't tried the power slice on nine. I've had several people ask me about it, uh, but I have not uh, tried it. Yeah, you'll see Jeff in here, him and I kind of talking back and forth about certain shots. Um, he's definitely one of the members of the, uh, the Shotsmith group that uh, definitely helps perfect some of these shots. We all kind of play some of the similar shots. Uh, and then, you know, as the tournament goes along, we, we talk to each other about the adjustments we made and, you know, what kind of improvements we can make to make the shot, you know, a little bit more perfect. And uh, Jeff definitely plays a very vital key role in all of that so definitely thank you to jeff for all that you do brother i appreciate it jeff and tim and myself Let's see where he ends up come on roll all right good he rolled out so he'll have a he'll have a We'll have um, a wood shot to the hole from there. All right, 9.4, so full top, two right. 7.8 rings. So we're gonna put it right about there. Red, blue ring just touching that rough line. And that should be okay. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. That's actually gonna be pretty good. That is going to be very good. Okay, we're gonna be in thorn range now uh, on this shot. And that's exactly about where you want to be uh, if you can get a little bit closer to that edge. But, uh, you know, we can't get that picky. Play a plus 5% here. We have our thorn. We have a chance at the albatross legit right here, y'all. Come on, let's get this albatross in the hole. Glenn St. Louis, what's up, brother? You're welcome, sir. Awesome job. Minus 27. Good job. All right, let's see, 10.1. Max is there. Min, it's about 75%. So 5.7 is what we're gonna play here. Hit it perfect. We got a chance. Oh. 
No! No pole music here? Come on! <laughs> Dang, we rung it off the pole. Oh, I thought I had it. I thought I had it. All right, um, getting closer and closer on that shot. I don't know if those of you who have been in my streams have seen me make that shot uh, three different times. Well, attempt that shot three different times and we're getting closer. As long as we have it ready by the weekend, that's all that matters, right? Oh man. Brutal, brutal pole music to end the stream. <laughs> I appreciate it, Alex. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Ben. I appreciate it. I thank all of y'all for hanging out with me. Hopefully, y'all picked up a few tips for your weekend round. Um, I really hope y'all can uh, put it together and get yourself uh, a medal, a gold medal. Just don't do it in my don't do it in my bracket, please. <laughs> but uh, definitely, I appreciate it. 100 plus people in here uh, for a majority of the stream. That is definitely very awesome to see uh, that type of support at uh, this type of hour of the night uh, I don't know is is James still in here I need James to type in the chat if he is still in here he was talking about streaming and uh, if he is still gonna stream what you all can do for me is go straight over to his stream and show him some support and love because he definitely deserves it definitely been a big part of the 19th hole and an awesome streamer and a funny guy. And you can learn some things off him. <laughs> just just put your fingers in your ears when he starts talking about Guardian. That's all I got to say. <laughs> all right. So let's look at the scorecard here. I haven't seen James post yet, so I'm not sure. But there's my scorecard there. I am happy with that. If I can duplicate that to the weekend, I am going to be looking at gold. And that's a damn good tiebreaker right there. Awesome, I'm happy. Thank you, Jamie. I appreciate it. All right, Skippy says he's here, and he's ready. All right, y'all. James is going to stream right now. He's firing up his stream as I talk to you here. So please go over to James' stream and show him the kind of love that you show me. All right, y'all, take care. I'll see y'all Sunday night. Hopefully we can do some more of this uh, booming, this J-booming, and win some gold. Y'all have a good night, y'all. Take care. God bless.